fast mic what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to create a sanitary plumbing system so after we learn how to create our chilled water return system on our last video in this uh, in this exercise we are going to create a sanitary plumbing system so in this building you are laying out the bathroom plumbing for a conference center project so for this you need to place plumbing fixtures and then we're going to create a sanitary plumbing system and then a gray sanitary water system and then we're going to complete the run for the unit so what we will be doing is we're going to place plumbing fixtures uh, create a sanitary plumbing system layout create a gray sanitary water system layout and then I'm going to show you how to manually complete the plumbing run for the unit. So just like our previous video, I'm going to show you how to do it automatically. And then I'm going to show you how to create it manually. Okay? Cool. So again, if you want to have this exercise file, you just need to put a comment on the comment section below. And put your email address and then I'll be sending you the exercise file. All right. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to zoom in to this area here. So this is where we are going to do the exercise. So as you can see, there are already lines here that we will be using as our guide as a placement for our uh, plumbing fixtures. Okay, so to start with, so I'm going to select here the systems tab. And then I'm going to select the plumbing fixture. Okay, and then for the plumbing fixture here, I'm going to select uh, a wall-mounted um, lavatory. Okay, so I'm going to use wall-mounted 19 by 14 inches public wall-mounted. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to place it here. Okay, so if, if ever you're having a difficulty aligning this plumbing fixture to the line, that's all right. You can just click outside first, for example, just like that. And then you can use the align tool. So use the align tool, align. You select that green line, that reference line, and then you select the center here. Just for you to be able to align it nicely. Okay. There you go. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to place um, plumbing fixtures which is, let's say, another toilet, okay, or water closet. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to insert a water closet. So I'm going to zoom in here. So system step, uh, plumbing fixture, okay. And then again, from the type selector, so let's look for uh, wall-mounted water closet. So select this one. And then let us put it on our reference line here. There you go. One, two, three. All right. Okay, so next, uh, we are going to mirror this to the other side, to the men's room. So we will be selecting all of this um, plumbing fixtures, and then we will be mirroring it to the other side okay so to do that very simple you just need to select all the plumbing fixtures just click that click 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 okay and then let's use the mirror tool so mirror draw axis and then we're going to pick this midpoint okay so this one so you just pick that one and then you click another point here to place the plumbing fixtures there you go. So while all of the plumbing fixtures here are selected, so I'm going to select the other plumbing fixtures. So I'm going to hold control and then select all the plumbing fixtures that I would like to be included to my system. Okay, so after you select all these plumbing fixtures, the next thing is you can see here create system. So you just need to select the piping so it's the same procedure just like what we are doing on our uh, last couple of videos so this is how you create the system so I'm going to select piping 
and then after that you just put the name here so we will be creating a sanitary piping here if you click the drop down you can see domestic cold water as well and then you can also select other there okay so it depends on the connectors that you have on the plumbing fixtures okay so if you have hot water or other uh, hydronic system piping connected to the plumbing fixture you'll be able to select it from the drop down arrow here so I'll be using sanitary because that is what we are going to do and the name so let's say I'm going to change this to second floor sanitary okay so second floor sanitary okay and then after that I'm just going to select here okay to create the system there you go so it's now created so if I'm going to select one of the plumbing fixture as you can see you now have piping systems here that you can edit the system because this element that I selected is already part of the system you see there's the system okay now to start creating the sanitary piping so we are going to generate the layout okay so to generate the layout I'm going to select again uh, one of the plumbing fixtures that is already included to the system to so just click and then after that you can see from the layout there's a generate layout so let's click that one okay and then you will now be able to see here the different uh, layout so before that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, place a base so there is a tool here that you can place a base into the, in the system to establish a source or an outlet for flow so just like a stack for example so you can use this tool so aside from creating it manually by creating a a duct or I mean a pipe vertical so you can also use place base places a base in the system to establish a source or an outlet for flow okay so I'm gonna select this one place base and then after that I'm just going to place it here okay so let's zoom in so I'm gonna place it here so let's click okay and then after that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the offset okay so for the offset the distance so I'm just going to make it minus four so minus four feet so meaning to say it will go down four feet the pipes okay so that's the offset and then for the diameter instead of six inches so I'm going to use a four inch pipe okay so four inches pipe it's like 100 mm if you're doing a metric okay and then for the solution let's go back to our solution here so let's look for the solution so for the solution I think I'm, I'm going to select here uh, uh, how about this one how about 3 out of 6 so 3 of 6 so this is the solution that I'm going to use again if you want to check out the settings here you can also specify the slope value here of your uh, pipe okay but for me let's check out the settings okay so for the settings you can see that the main branch here the default is PVC and then the offset is uh, six inches okay six inches below our main pipe so the main pipe that is the uh, blue pipe and then the branch pipe that is your green pipe okay so hope that one is clear so I'm just going to use this offset of six inches so I'm going to select here okay all right and then after that let us now finish the layout let's finish this uh, finish that one and then there you go so you just you just created now the layout automatically so now I'm gonna open the second floor plumbing 3d view here just this one so this is now how it looks like okay so let me just uh, go to the floor plan and then type WT for tile window so I can see the floor plan and I can see as well the 3d here 
Now, the next thing that we are going to do is, let's say you want to create a gray sanitary water system layout. So let's say you want to recycle the water. So you do not want your, let's say, your lavatories here to be connected along the uh, sanitary here, our water closet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a gray sanitary water system. So how to do that? So you just need to edit your um, uh, piping here. So let us try to edit the system. So I'm going to select the plumbing fixture. And then let's go to the piping systems. Okay. And then let's select edit system. So let us try if we can remove our plumbing fixtures to the system because there is a remove from system here so let's use that one and then okay so for this one I can't select I can't remove so for some reason in the lower version you can actually remove a plumbing system from the from the a plumbing fixture from the system I just don't know how to remove it okay here in the newer version okay but anyway if I select this one because it's still part of the system so that's part of the system second floor sanitary so um, how about uh, system piping system edit system okay remove okay ah, I can't remove it okay so anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to try to go to the system browser. So let's go to the system browser. So let's check out if we can do some uh, editing here on the system browser. Okay. So from the system browser, so I'm going to select this plumbing fixture. So as you can see, it highlights here on our system browser. So I'm going to expand that. I'm going to expand that. Expand. So there's your lavatory here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this and then I'm going to delete it. Okay, so that is what will going to happen if you're going to remove it from here. So basically you will not be able to remove it from the system. But if you're going to delete it, okay, it will just physically delete it to your, to your drawing. Okay, so don't do that one. So I'm just going to undo it. Okay, so there you go. So let's uh, check out what else that we can do here to divide the system. So I'll try to uh, divide the system if we have that. Okay, so a piping system. Okay, so there's no other system. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect this um, plumbing fixtures here from our water closet, our laboratory. So I'm going to delete this one. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete this one as well. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to move this to the left side. And then I'm just going to trim it. Okay, so let's trim this one. Okay, there you go. And then after that, <clears throat> let's now connect this. It's really bothers me how are we going to remove this plumbing fixtures to the system because on the lower version you can actually remove it from the system using that uh, piping system here edit system you can remove that but for this one for some reason I can't remove it from the system okay but anyway that's all right so I'm just going to physically make it uh, separated from the from the water uh, water closet so I'm just going to create my gray water system. Okay. Next, um, what I'm going to do is after we remove the pipe, deleted the pipe is uh, we're going to change the size of our pipes. Okay. So we are going to start resizing the four inches pipe to two inches. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hover my pointer here and then press tab two times. And then click, all right, just to select this uh, connection of pipes because we want to change that. So instead of four inches, so I'm gonna make that uh, two inches, all right. So two inches. There you go. There you go. So that's what 
we like. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, select this fitting here and then convert that into T fittings. There you go. And then I'm going to select this. Let's create. Right click. Let's create a pipe and then draw a pipe. Let's pick from here. Okay. So, oh, so before you pick, by the way, don't forget to put a slope. So this is sloping down. Because I'm going to that direction, going down to here. So I'm going to select um, slope down. Okay, and then let's use uh, one eighth of an inch. Okay, so that's the slope. So I'm going to pick here, and then I'm going to pick here. Okay, and then if you want to go down the, the pipe, if you want to make it going down, so you can just change the value here the elevation so let's say you can type uh, minus value so let's say I'm gonna type minus two feet and then I'm going to apply apply there you go so there is now our pipe there okay all right Okay, so there you go. So basically, that's how you create your piping. Now, if you still have time, what you can do is you can uh, use the default um, family in Revit, wherein you can use here a trap. If you want, you can go to the Insert tab, and then after that, you can go to Load Family, and then you go to the Pipe, Okay, double click the pipe and then you go to um, I think that is uh, fittings and then you go to PVC double click schedule 40 socket type DWV and then here you can use the trap so there's a trap that you can use if you want to put a trap on our uh, lavatory okay so you can use that one as well so just select that and then load it into the project so open that okay and then after that you can just um, connect it to your uh, pipe here so let's say let me go to the systems let's go to the pipe fitting use the trap and then you pick now the pipe where you want to connect that there you go so you can pick that and then you can go to the floor plan and then you can rotate that one right you can rotate it you can rotate there you go and then you can you can edit from the 3d view or you can also create a section if you want you can just move up and then you can create a pipe from that particular trap so you click that right click that draw a pipe Okay, and then pick uh, slope off. Wait, it's happening. So you pick that, right click, draw pipe. So let's pick one point. There you go. Okay. And then you can now connect that to your uh, connection here. Okay. So you can use a line tool. You can, uh, you can use you can move this you can create a pipe going down and then connect it from there okay so basically that's how you edit your model or maybe um, you can just draw a pipe that is going down so let's say minus three feet so that you have a pipe that goes down there you go and then you can trim this Okay, it's up to you. There's a lot of ways to do the modeling in Revit. Okay, I'm just showing you some example. All right. Okay, so basically that's how you do your plumbing system. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. All right, so once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.